Now, bass pads are brilliant for big, tense sections in songs. In dance pop, this generally will be a bridge or a pre-chorus. Now, I've gone for a bridge, so if we make a combinator, name it bass pad, and inside it, make a mixer, link it up to Thor, and initialize it. We can get to work as soon as I add in some notes. Okay, here we go, in the bridge section. We can just see I've started with these nice long notes, a very simple chord progression to give the basis for our section. And we're going to make, in the Thor instance, two multi oscillators to begin with. Change that analog to a multi. One on saw and one on square wave, both slightly detuned a bit more. Let's take a listen to what that sounds like. Now the combination of these two tones gives a huge warm tone. Have a listen without the square and without the saw. But together, really cool for a bass pad. Now we're going to bring them down an octave each. Just give it a more bass. And then we're going to remove this filter and add it to the filter 3 slot instead. Since the default global ENV value here gives a nice sharp start to the sound that I want to play off. If you want to get rid of that kind of sharp start, just get rid of the ENV value here. We're going to bring that up nicely so you can really hear it. Now bring the frequency down to about half. And we're pretty much there. Let's bring up the sustain all the way up to full so it doesn't lose any volume over time. Okay, and we're going to raise up the release a bit so at the end of those notes it kind of fades out rather than stopping dead. And we're going to really bring out that sharp start with a noise oscillator here in oscillator 3 on white noise mode. Let's run it through filter 2 here. You have to click both 3 and this little filter 2 to amplify and enable button. And this is literally making noise and nothing else at the moment. If I get rid of these, you can hear that. But if we turn on a uh, state variable filter on high pass mode, just get rid of all that low end so it's not really muddying anything up. And then if we bring back in the other two, Maybe bring it down a little bit in the Thor mixer. There we go. Just adds to that sharp start. And this allows for a sweet percussive element to the synth. Now let's add in an EQ to bring up the top. Right click, create, M class equalizer. And we're just going to do that with param 2. We're going to turn up to 5 kilohertz, somewhere around there. Just nice and bright. And widen it up a bit. So that really brightens the percussive hit and slightly lifts the warm bassy pad itself as well. And lastly, we're just gonna add onto the mixer, right click, create RB7000 Advanced Reverb. And we're going to select the preset EKO Space Echo 1. Some really cool echo effects as well. It's good for delay type sounds in this RV7000 Advanced Reverb. And this is a really cool preset for a big delayed sound. So let's turn the aux up to half. And you're ready to go. Now I'll just show you what it sounds like with those ARP notes I talked about in the song as well. Okay, so I've just put them in, take a listen. There. You might want to have two separate instances of the synth to adjust the levels and the EQing of the ARP and the bass pad more finely, but personally I think it sounds pretty good as it is. I'll talk more about the notes themselves in day 6, so that's it for today. 
We've made a gated pad that's both bright and thick and a lovely example of cognitive dissonance. No wonder it was bipolar. We've also got a synth with a pitch more bent than the edge of a bench that a really fat but talented singer would sit on and cry because they could never make it in the pop music industry due to excessive weight. And a bass pad warmer than the lovely crackling fire in the expensive mansion of the record label executive that just told a fat chick with an awesome voice that she could never make it in the pop music industry due to her excessive weight. Join me tomorrow for day five, where I'll be looking into the vital vocals, discussing auto-tuning methods, general vocal processing, harmonies, and how to make some seriously catchy hooks. See ya!